Hello everyone, it's been a while, but I am back and I'm back with a, another video. Normally it's about mobile phones, tablets and other stuff, but I haven't bought anything recently. So I figured I'd do a video on the PlayStation 4. I don't know if that's Nacon, Nason, Revolution Pro Controller version two. So what I'll do today is I would just be doing just a simple unboxing, probably what you've already seen on YouTube. I did look at a few of these videos on YouTube before purchasing it, and I noticed that a lot of them were not English for some strange reason. I'm not sure why, but I figured I'd buy this. I have an Elite controller for my Xbox One, and I'd like to see how an Elite controller, well, an Elite type controller works for the PlayStation. So let's see what we get inside. Oh, there we go. Oh, let me move that out of the way. How do we open this? Okay. That looks like it's opened the wrong way, but it's not. Hmm. Yep, definitely not. So let's open this. See what we get inside. Let's take that off because nobody cares about that. And there we have the controller that looks a little bit. Just a little bit like an Xbox controller, but that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something a lot more sturdy. I find the original PlayStation controller a little bit too small for me. I haven't got the biggest hands, but I still prefer the a bigger controller. Let's see what else we get inside here. So we have just some stickers that I'm never going to use. We have, I believe this is a pouch. If I can open it. Come on. Oh, we have a cleaning cloth. With all the branding on the front. You can see there. Turn it the right way around. With all the branding on the front. Revolution Pro Controller. And then we just have the bag. Will the bag fit? The actual controller. Let's do a test. Just to make sure it actually fits. Yeah, it does. Not too bad. I wasn't sure if it would fit, but did a quick check and it's fine. Hmm. I hit that hard on the table then. There's also a little zip on the side. I'm guessing that's just to put your maybe charger cables not going to fit in there. Let's see what it could be for because it should be for something that's already in this box. So let's push that up there and see what's inside the final part of the controller box. So we have a hefty cable that is very long. And that's the one first difference that you'll see here. We have a USB-C adapter, which is different to the previous model. And then there's one last thing in here. And that is, oh, this is the weights. So these are the weights. These here. Oh, don't roll off. Let me stand it up. These are the weights that you can place inside the controller. I can do a small demo of this now, hopefully. So in the bottom of the controller, with this ejector tool, oh, it's rolling. Let's put that there. You can pry that open. Let's pull it out. And within here, you can pop these in to give your controller some more weight, and that's a bad example. You can pop them in there, and it gives your controller just a bit more weight. And I believe it feels better when you when the controller vibrates in the hand as well. But I'll give them a go at a later date and see how they are. How easy are they to take out? There we go. Let me pop that back in. Oh, that's me spinning. There we go. So now we have the controller itself. Now, this is not a controller that I know loads about. I just bought it purely out of curiosity more than anything, just to see how it works. But you have the usual touchpad on the front that is found on the standard PlayStation controller. And then we have the D-pad, which is a lot different. It's not like the original PlayStation D-pad. I think I might prefer the original PlayStation D-pad, but I haven't used the controller yet. We have two different analog sticks on the front. 
you'll see here we have a raised one which is just slightly raised and then on the left one we have a different rubber on the indent and this one goes in rather than over the top and we have the usual buttons here 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 we have the trigger buttons on the top r1 and r1 these are a lot noisier than found on the actual playstation controller itself and then we have r2 and l2 which feel a little bit like playstation no not playstation they feel a little bit like the xbox triggers which aren't too bad and here you'll find the actual buttons for why people i guess people buy this controller so for me on my elite controller on my xbox one i enjoy using the paddles on the back here we have both of the paddles are fixed kind of into one whole button rather than being layered in two ways or this way similar to the scuff controller i'd be interested to see how they actually work and then you have the profiles that's for changing profiles here and then you have the modes one two and pc for some reason my camera's not zooming as good as i want it to but yeah and then you have the headphone jack at the bottom which is expected and the little led light there and that's it for the controller for now if there is anything that you would like to see about this controller please do let me know in the comments down below if you did enjoy this video and would like to see some more gaming related product videos please do let me know as well and if there is anything that you would like me to change on these videos also let me know i know i'm asking for a lot if you don't want to comment you don't have to but that's it for now guys i will see you in the next video peace